What's up, you guys? It's your boy Fisher Nandy's kid, and we are back on Life is Strange. We're going to continue the last part of episode three, and we going to flex this, all right? So, um, no one knows what's going to happen. It turns out that I stopped at um, the part where Max got into the school bus, the cheesy bus, and David was the bus monitor. So, that was quite strange. Let's see what happens next. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? William, hmm. Chloe's We dead. thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Nah, we ain't gonna end this video like this. We're going to do episode three to four in this episode this time. Well, this part. This is the end of episode three. I thought that they would end later than that, but let's continue on to episode four. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Okay, we've seen all of this part. Yeah, we've seen all of this. But it gets crazy every time, though. Let's like... talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Coffee, please. Tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, Episode four. You better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I 
found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. The look on Max's face when she saw Chloe. Life is Strange, episode four, The Dark Room. It sounds crazy. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. Yo, this is crazy. Like, the You're way a I real survivor, talking. Chloe. I know you have to deal with it so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and, and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. What missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. 
Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Helen? <laughs> I hate that word, no offense. None taken. What the f It's a complete different Chloe right there. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? My head. Sure. I still know where the kitchen is. Wait. Then this used to be the... This used to be the, um, the, um, the, um, damn, this used to be the, the basement. This is like the basement and the garage. Wait, how, how can I pass you a cup of water? Wait, where's your water at? Wait, it's supposed to be in the kitchen, but I don't think this is allowed me. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Yeah, Max, this is all your fault. Drink up, buttercup. I'm not crying. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. <laughs> a podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. Chloe no of the way Caribbean. No way we get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. 
Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. No, not when you're here. Not yet. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like a butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. I honestly don't care about the copyright infringement bullshit, but I'm not crying. I'm not sad. I'm not crying. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Awesome. Clutch. Oh, man. And they play that sad copyrighted fragment music in the background. <laughs> oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Ah, here's the DVD. And there goes the DVD player. Hey, hey, yo, get to the flip. That is so Taylor Swift. Congrats on that Grammys, Taylor Swift. <laughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. Why am I smiling like this? <laughs> Do you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great. Seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't. You just get sad every time. Is she wanted something. She what did she want it? She wanted uh she, she wanted some head pain medicine. And look, look, you hear her breathing. Like it's it's just crazy. Go upstairs, Max. Go upstairs. Look, everything is different now. Shoot you now, what? What are you talking about? You see his <laughs> Victoria's hitting me up right now, like... I thought she hated me. This is like an example of a person that's old DQ, finds you attractive, and you yourself think you're ugly and everything, like, no way, like... What are you talking about? Like, no, no way. No, no, no. I'm guessing her medicine it's should cool be... It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. That sounds so crazy, so scary. Never knew I'd be delivering How's it going, morphine time, Tripper? medicine to my Funny. best friend. I think I look older. 
So you know I was actually about to leave the light on. I always do that. Not, not anymore. When I was a kid, used to. Just get out of the bathroom and just leave the bathroom light on. It's like the dumbest thing in mankind. And don't ask why you see we're using the fork. Hey, Chloe, I got Finally. it. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. The blue I'm pill? I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. <laughs> Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Turn the page. Even though oh, the photo awesome I see picture. looks pixelized. We look so bad us in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Do you see this? <laughs> like, I refuse. I accept. What? Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them. But they won't honor my wishes. You will. I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave 
than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am Fuck. never leaving you again. Focus on that I'm damn sorry, photo. William. This is too crazy. You gotta go back. Take it back. Before the accident happened, it's time to come back. Here you, Max. This is a keeper. That just scared the shit out of me. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. <sighs> Damn. Cakes with hot sauce. I don't care about the music in the background. Copyright infringement claim. It always happens. I get used to it now. And this happens. Chloe, you're back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just. I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. 
Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. Yeah, welcome back to the real world. Well, turns I'm gonna end this. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Well, you should. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Okay, uh, you can't just be interrupting me like that, you know? Like, that's, that's better. But this is it for this part of the episode, for episode four. It turns out that this is going to be the end of episode three to the starting of episode four in this video. If you if you enjoyed this uh, this video, give it a like, comment, and or subscribe, and I will post the next part of episode four by Monday. So yeah, um, once again, it's your boy Fisher Nineties Kid, and I'm gonna be signing off. Well, not signing off. Well, I'm gonna be off this day, night. Fuck. Okay, I won't deny it. Half the time you send a text, yep, you know I'm not replying. Just to let you know I'm not one of them niggas you be dodging. I'm the one that you dodge with. I'm the one that you gon' take that dress and save and not the closet. I'm the one you need a